Will you stop being such a brat and come home with us? You don't feel you can make an effort, even for a couple of hours, for your mum? It's been ages since we all had a laugh together. Yeah, well, it's going to be even longer, cos I'm happy right here. <sighs> Just get my coat and then we can go. You're really selfish, you know that. Yeah, well, I get that from Dad. <clears throat> I'll be waiting in the car. You know, you have no idea how lucky you are. A pair of doting parents, everything you've always wanted, and it still isn't enough for you, is it? She wants you both to say goodnight, so... Uh... I'll be up in a minute. I'll take her a drink of water. Where's Sally? In her room. She's probably having a nice slide down. Oh. oh, no. You're not going anywhere. Laurel, is this what you want? No. Not anymore. Please, put the bag down. I can't stay here and watch you two tear each other apart. Hey! They might have had a bit of a tiff, but they'll get over it. And it's so unfair on Laurel, having to harbour her husband's ex in her own home. No, it, it's not a problem, honestly. Where on earth would you go? Surely not back to Vincent. I'll find a hotel, somewhere, anywhere. No, you don't. It's bad enough. Our marriage is in pieces. The last thing I want to do is to affect yours. It would take more than Vincent's spoke to do that, wouldn't it, Laurel? I'm so sorry that, you know, you think that I didn't believe you, but I didn't know exactly what you were up against, but I do now and I'm on your side. We can help you through this and we will, but you have to stay here with us where you're safe. So put that blessed bag down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so sorry. We'll sort this out. You'll see. Oh, it makes Will look mature. Nathan! Listen to me. No, look, I'm serious. Great. Half an hour sitting around the same table is obviously too much to ask. Apparently so. Right. I've had enough. Hmm? Yeah. So where are you going? Well, where do you think? I'm going to go and talk to him. In the pub? In front of all those people? Yeah. He won't make it easy, even for you. Well, look, I know the situation isn't ideal, but he's old enough to understand. Why the hell can't he just move on and deal with it? I've had to. The fact that his father has feet of clay can't be easy. Oh, please. Well, that's the truth, isn't it? It is so far from the truth as a joke. But he can't handle the lies we've told him. How do you think he's going to feel about the truth? Well, we've managed the situation so far. Put a lid on the box. No, I can't take this anymore. I can't stand having Faye so close, knowing what she knows. Well, she's made a point. Why the hell didn't she just disappear? Wish I knew, sweetheart. Wish I knew. I'm just popping out for a quick snifter. Either of you fancy joining me? I've got this sermon to work at, thanks. We won't wait up, Dad. All right, then. Night. Would it make a difference, Ashley, if I said that I should never have doubted you? Or Sally? And I should never have accused you of betraying me. That was a cheap shot. But I did. I should have had more faith in your judgement, and I'm really sorry. Sorry, too. It's what we're going to be put through now that worries me. What work? Mm, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll bet all my life savings that Vincent will be on Bishop George's doorstep screaming blue murder that I've abducted his wife. Well, it's up to us to put him right, isn't it? Vincent's very credible. He's charming, self-assured. You yourself had difficulty believing Sally. How do you think George is going to take it? Yeah, but you're an honest person. You've got nothing to hide. George hates this kind of mess. It's the stuff of Sunday tabloids. Two vicars scrapping over one of their wives. It's hardly dignified, is it? Yeah, but he's the one in the wrong. I mean, I I'm a witness, and so's Dad. We'll put him straight, don't worry. As far as the bishop's concerned, we witness only to our maker. And, unlike myself, Vincent has never put a foot wrong in all these years in the ministry. When this hits the fan, Vincent can make things very difficult for all of us. Coming up next tonight on STV, Luke has a bit of a problem in Coronation Street. Then at nine, Bill Patterson narrates Wild Islands, which looks at Ireland's creatures of wind and wave. And Emmerdale fans, don't forget to check out the website, stv.tv forward slash Emmerdale. <laughs>